Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to jail with jailbreak your iPhone 3GS with the new 3.1 software that allows you to send MMS and other new features. The first thing is just to show you that mine, my way works, I'm going to show you that I am running the new software firmware. So, as you can see here, I am running the 3.1. Okay, so the first step is, you're going to download my first step, which will be Punish Tool. And it's sitting right here. Once you're done with Punish Tool, open Mozilla Firefox, and you're going to download the second step, which is this, the 3.1 firmware. You'll need this later on. So once you're done both of those steps, you're gonna launch Punish Tool. Double click and just wait for it to open. Okay, you're gonna click OK. You're gonna click iPhone 3G. I uh, meant first you're gonna go to Expert Mode and then iPhone 3GS. It's gonna search for your Restore. Make sure you don't have other ones on your computer or it might mess it up. Just double check by looking at uh, the last five numbers at SC144. That should through N3.1. That should be the new one. It'll automatically find it too. You'll check mark this and next. Next, you'll go to general. Next. If it, if you are not running AT&T and you have something such as T-Mobile, you are gonna click activate the phone. It should already be checked. If you're running on the car carrier that it should be on, so, uh, AT&T, uncook this. You're going to change the partition side, the size to 695 megabytes. Then you click next. Yeah. Next. This is packages, uh, basically sources. So if you want any new sources, you go to download packages, refresh, and click any that you want. Uh, I'm not gonna put any on, um, any on here since I already did this, and I really didn't find any need to do this uh, until later. Alright, I do, I do not, do not recommend that on IC. It can mess your iPhone up big time. So uncheck that and leave City installer. Then click next. Um, this is your choice, the boot logo. Uh, if you want this your iPhone to boot with um, the pineapple. Um, I'm not going to do that um, and the recovery logo. Uh, I um, That's your choice also. So let's just both uncheck those. You're going to click next. And then, okay, you're finally ba almost done. You're going to go to build next and going to go to next. It, you're going to say you're going to get a new file if you know this it's called custom that's where you're gonna restore your iPhone later you're gonna um I recommend just changing this the where you want to download it to your desktop so you know where it's going as you can see mine's right here I'm gonna go save and um mine's right there so I'm gonna hit cancel All right, and then you hit next what it'll do is that it'll make the file. This can take a very long time, up to five to ten minutes. Um, so don't think your software is frozen or whatever. It's it's still working. So once it's done, um, it will say that it's it'll have this kitty here and it'll have a check mark on it telling you it's done and it'll tell you to shut this off. And then you're gonna after this, um, you're gonna go to iTunes and you're gonna go. I'm gonna go to iTunes. Switch right now. I'm gonna go. Uh, it's not recognizing my iPhone. Uh, hold on. Right now, it's not showing my. Um, it's trying to show you my iPhone. Which I don't want to do. But right now, you'll just click your iPhone. This is my iPhone. And you're gonna go to restore. But before you hit restore, Make sure all your stuff is backed up. You don't want to lose anything. 
So do you hold option first? Hold on, one sec. Um, Okay, sorry about that. You'll hold um, option and restore, and that will um, give you a selection of w what file you want to restore to. So you go under your desktop and make sure you click the custom one, not the restore, or not the restore that you first download. The custom, or that will be a big mistake later. A very big mistake. So make sure you click the custom. That will give you your 3.1. After that's done, it will ask you for a software update from um, AT&T or whatever. You want to click yes, so you can get the MMS. You, because before there was a original 3.1, and you got to upgrade a little bit. So it's safe to do that, and you want to do that if you want to get MMS. Okay, so once you're done there, you're pretty much done. All you have to do is back up all your apps. As you can see, I got a lot here, so, yeah. And that's about it. So I hope you like that guys. And um I hope to see you on my next video.